Hello YouTube viewers. This is going to be a short video on gold filled watches. Here we get these, quite a few of them actually, uh, in junk jewelry bags at yard sales and so forth for very little money. And uh, you might see these for sale on eBay and wonder how much gold do they contain. And what I'm going to try to do here is demonstrate how much gold yield, pure gold yield, you can expect from these uh, gold filled watch bands. Up here I have the gold filled tops off of the watch bands. I pulled these off with a pair of cutters, just bent the tops off. They're gold filled on one side only. Here's the steel bands that are left over after I've taken the tops off of the bands. This is just scrap steel. This has no gold in it at all. This will have uh, gold filled material on 50%, one side of the uh, metal only. And then of course I got the, uh, the watch casings that are also going to be 50% gold filled. Underneath, there's no gold filled material on there. Let's see if I can get up close. And then on the other side, you'll have gold filled material. So when calculating how much weight you can expect, how much gold you can expect based on the weight, you got to cut it in half by 50% because only half of it is going to be gold filled material. When I scrap out these gold filled ladies watches and men's watches in some case, I save all the movements, I save the crystals just in case someone comes into the shop and needs a crystal. I save these all in this uh, little plastic container. Here I have another group of them. These are all movements. Some of them work, some of them don't. I save the uh, crystals up here. But uh, these will have some kind of value, so I set them aside and hang on to them. Now I'm trying to show the marking here, right down in this uh, side of here it says 10K gold filled. It's kind of hard to read there, I hope you can see that on the camera. I've got another one here. That says gold filled right on the case, right up here. And then I've got another one here. Let me see if I can find that one. It talks about on this little piece of metal right here. It says gold filled caps. Gold filled caps. What that means is the bulk of the band is made out of steel, and these little caps right here, let me pull one off and just show you. These caps are the only thing that is gold filled material here. Of course, I had to pick a difficult one. That little thing right there that I just pulled off of the band is the only thing. It's going to be gold filled. This part right here is steel underneath. And this is the gold filled cap. So this is the part that I want to save. This piece of steel here is scrap junk. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these off. If you look under here, there's a little tab right here. If you grab it with the pair of sharp cutters, the piece that has gold filled material on it will be pulled right off and I just go through and I got to pull each one of these individually just like that. And I found that this is the best way to do it on this particular kind of band. Just pull these off one at a time until I get them all off. Before I start disassembling all these parts I want to weigh all this material just like it is so I can get a starting weight on it as if I was
buying this scrap like it is right off the internet. This one has got a back and a movement with it because I'd already taken that out so I'm going to include that with the weight just like if you were getting a full watch. This one also, it's got the back and the case and I've put a movement in there to include in the weight plus the little pieces that I've already taken off so that if you bought something like this on eBay you are going to be able to get a starting weight here and then calculate I'm going to disassemble it all after I weigh this we're going to calculate how much of a yield I can expect off of this so it will give us an idea of what we can expect alright I've got 84.4 grams of total weight of all our scrap here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this 84.4 grams of gold fill watches down and I'm going to disassemble these things off camera, categorize it into piles, and then we're going to calculate how much gold I can expect to recover from this 84.4 grams of gold fill watches here. I've got another band here. It says 120th, what is that, 120th, 10K GF, it says it right there, if you can read that. Now this only applies to these tops right here, down underneath that steel mesh there, that's made out of steel, so to get the good gold filled parts, what we do is I take a pair of cutters here, these are the easiest and just grab them like that and pull them off see that how that comes off real easy these are the easiest ones to do that I've found just get those off of there and then throw this scrap steel piece away it's no good it has no value all right here's the parts of the watch that I just took apart that's the steel mesh. That's no good. I just throw that away. These are the uh, pieces, the tops that have gold filled material on 50% of them. This is the catch and the chain. I, I usually just set that aside and put it up with some other scrap and do this later because it's so tedious to take it all apart. And then I've got the uh, actual watch here, the watch case with the watch in it. And if you look on the back here, it says, what does that say? Roll gold plate RGP, 10K RGP. That means roll gold plate or gold filled. Then it says stainless steel back. So I don't want this back piece. I just want the bezel and I want to get the movement out of there. To do that, you just pry it up with a screwdriver take the back off. This is the good part right here. This is the part that's going to have gold fill material on it. I just take a uh, pair of pliers here and push the crystal out carefully if I can like that and I'll set that off to the side and I'll save the crystal because I might be able to use that and here's our piece of gold fill material <clears throat> that's 50 percent gold fill. The inside does not have any gold fill material in it it's just metal, base metal. And the outside has our gold filled stuff. So I'm going to set that in the pile with the good stuff. Now as far as the movement goes, I'll save this. The stainless steel back. I don't need that. So I could throw that away, but I'll just uh, leave it. Leave the movement in the stainless steel back and save it like this. The rest of the procedure, the rest of the watches here are pretty much exactly the same. Just take the tops off, disassemble the cases, save the parts that are gold filled, get rid of the steel parts and save the movements and the crystals. I'm going to do that all off camera right now and get everything sorted into piles. This watch case is a little different. The actual back on this one is also gold filled material. It says 10K gold filled. So I'm going to save the case, the back on this one. The other ones were stainless. And 
we don't want those in with the batch so we tossed those but this back happens to have a gold filled back to it so we're going to save the gold filled back I'm nearly done with cleaning this metal up by removing the steel and I, just, I come across this watch case it says 14k gold filled inside there so that means that the the bezel and the back are made of gold filled material and that'll all be good so I'm going to save that and then if you look down here at the bottom of this band it says see if I can read it here I've got it upside down it says 1 20th 12k gold filled and so this whole thing here not just the tops but this whole band is going to be gold filled I've completed disassembling the watches now what I'm going to do is measure the good clean gold filled material here get a weight on it so we can calculate a yield on this looks like we got 31.1 grams excuse me 31.9 grams of just the gold filled material I'm going to put the other material up on here and measure it to make sure we got uh, everything on the scale that we're supposed to have to get our original 84.4 grams just to show you that that's all the material there's going to be some loss because some of the springs and stuff flew off into the ethernet while I was doing this Let's see how close we can get to our original weight here these are all the movements. I'll save the movements. And I've got the crystals here. I saved those just in case somebody might be able to use those. And we're at 84.0. We lost 0.4 grams during the cleaning process. Gold filled material that I got off those watches. 31.9 grams. Well, first let's get our multiple. We, I'm going to call it 12K. 12K is 0.5 or 50% pure gold. Multiply that by 1 20th or 0 0.05. We multiply 0 0.5, which is 12K, times 0 0.05, which is 1 20th, and that equals. 0.025%. Now we take our 31.9 grams of our uh, clean gold fill material that we got over here sitting up on the scale and we multiply that by our percentage here times 0.025 and that equals 0.7975. That's how much pure gold we can expect to get in grams out of this clean scrap here out of them watches. Okay, now we got to divide this. Remember that our scrap is only gold filled on the top. The bottom of it is not gold filled material. So that's only going to be 50%. So we got to divide this by 2. And what that's going to give us is 0.39875. That's how many grams yield we can expect out of this gold filled material that I cleaned off of these. Uh, gold fill watches. Less than one half a gram is what our yield is going to be. Okay, this will conclude this video. Hope you learned something. We started out with 84.4 grams 
of gold filled watches and after I cleaned all that stuff up got all the steel and the non gold filled material out of it what I can expect to yield in pure gold is 0.39875 grams of pure gold not much but it's something what I'll do is I have all the material over here still on the scale I've got some other watches that I had processed earlier and cleaned them all up. They're here. And I'll add this material to these piles. And then I've got a bunch more gold filled material right here. And I've got my apparatus set up out into the fume hood there. And what I'm going to do is make a complete separate video on how to refine all of this gold filled scrap material. So I hope you learned something. This will conclude the video. Thanks for watching.